Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Izzarul Hisham bin Ismail um, with metric number A18B1207. So, today I representing our group members from group 17 to uh, deliver or to present our topic of study. And uh, before I continue with uh, my presentation, I would like to point out all the keys of presentation which is uh, start from uh, title, issues, organization and set the background, research objective and so on until the last point which is unit of analysis. And um, yeah, first of all, we're going to we're going to the title or the topic of our study, which is uh, we choose uh, the topic of downsizing practices and organizational performance. The case of Hilton Hotel. And uh, based on uh, our study or uh, research, uh, the problem statement or the specific problem or issues uh, that consists in our study which is uh, the Hilton Hotel downsizing practice during COVID-19. So the effect on organizational uh, performance faced by Hilton Hotel after after doing the downsizing practices. So um, uh, in this um, you know like problem statement we we want to know or to study uh, regarding this topic or issue to know further what uh, what's going on or yeah like um, the problem and uh, the the solution in the in this study and then uh, next um, uh, I will explain about the uh, organization and set the background um, yeah, as we know, Hilton Hotel is a global brand of full service hotel and resort and the um, flagship brand of uh, American multinational hospitality company Hilton. The original company was founded by Conrad Hilton and now the brand is all uh, all over all over the world. Uh, one of their branches is in Malaysia, which is located in um, Kuala Lumpur. And the former KL Hilton was uh, was originally built in Jalan Sultan Ismail in uh, 1973, and um, was it was the first um, the first five star hotel uh, to be open in uh, Kuala Lumpur. And due to pandemic COVID-19, uh, Hilton Hotel has announced that they have to um, restructure their organization by implemented um, downsizing practice. So that's what we want to know. Um, we want to measure uh, what's going on in in this issue or this topic. So and we're going next to research objective. Um, so, in research objective, uh, I, I want to say that um, what we want to know uh, or what we want to measure on this topic or issue. So, it's, um, it's included in research objective. So, uh, the first uh, objective which is uh, to identify the nature of downsizing practices. Um, at Hilton Hotel. Second, to determine the organizational performance at uh, Hilton Hotel. And the third one is to examine relationship between downsizing practices and organizational and performance at um, Hilton Hotel. So that's for research objective. So we're going next to the research question. I mean like uh, what kind of question or what kind of survey that we have uh, provided to the our targeted population or sample. Um, so here are uh, the main questions that we have provided which is uh, the first question or the main the main question, which is uh, what are nature of downsizing practices at Hilton Hotel? And then question two, 
what kind of organizational performance exists at Hilton Hotel and the third one is the uh, relationship um, exists between downsizing practices and down um, an organizational performance at Hilton Hotel so that's for research question or research survey and um, next uh, research hypothesis so um, the research hypothesis what we know that uh, the hypothesis is uh, so basically um, hypothesis is um, used in um, in an experiment or study to define the relationship uh, between two variables which is uh, independent variables or IV and also the other the other one is um, dependent variable or DV so uh, it's clearly uh, to make a um, hypothesis we we must know or identify what is uh, IV what is the DV in uh, in in our study and also uh, we must identify what the relationship between the uh, IV and also the DV and then that's for research hypothesis so here as you can see that um, for research hypothesis in our study which is um, there is a positive and a significant relationship between downsizing practices and organizational performance at Hilton Hotel Sandiram Berhad <coughs> And then uh, we're going next to theoretical framework. So in theoretical framework, we explain or we uh, figure out what is uh, our IV and what is our DV in our study. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can refer uh, or yeah, like uh, we figure out uh, the the theoretical framework as presented in slide. So the title is conceptual, conceptual framework on downsizing practice and down, uh, organizational performance of Hilton Hotel uh, of Kuala Lumpur uh, during um, COVID-19. So for independent variable, uh, which is um, downsizing practice, uh, there is um, uh, what we call like uh, sub content which is the first one is job insecurity uh, fear of uh, unfamiliar things fear of dissatisfaction and also climate of top and then goes to uh, moderating uh, uh, variables uh, and then uh, dependent variable or DV which is organizational performance uh, and then other um, under organizational performance uh, there is a uh, Cognitive intelligence, uh, emotional uh, intelligence, social intelligence, uh, competencies, and um, yeah, I would like uh, here I would like to to share what what I understand about the uh, independent variable and also dependent variable. So uh, basically, uh, independent variable is um, all about that um, uh, the causes the causes. And then, uh, while the dependent variable is about uh, the effects from the co uh, the from the causes, that's what I I understand from uh, comparison or different uh, what different differentiation between IV and DV. So uh, this IV and DV is focusing on hospitality industry, especially in uh, uh, Hilton Hotel in Kuala Lumpur. And then um, next is a research research design. So uh, for the research design, um, um, the research design uh, refers to the um, overall strategy that we choose to integrate the different components of the study in a coherent and a logical way thereby ensuring effectively address uh, the research prob problem which is it uh, constitutes 
the blueprint for the collection measurement and analysis of the data and yeah as you can see that uh, our research design which is uh, consists of descriptive analysis uh, is used to explain on what happened and help pave the way for new evidence to be discovered and uh, the other one is explanatory analysis is used to create relationship between a variable and a study situation and then next uh, we're going we're going to a sampling frame so uh, in sampling frame the sample um, I mean like the sampling frame uh, defines as a set of elements from which we can uh, select a sample of uh, of the targeted uh, population which means um, by choosing the particular uh, members of the target population that are uh, to be interviewed in uh, in the survey of our study so uh, the sample we uh, will be extracted from uh, numerous of people uh, who's affected in hospital industry due to pandemic COVID-19 so that's for sampling frame and then uh, next to um, population and sample okay uh, population and sample uh, population is consists of all people I mean like uh, all people who's affected in hospitality industry um, and then uh, while for um, sample uh, consists of employees that surviving during downsizing practices and also who's experiencing uh, the changes in organizational uh, performance so ah uh, uh, that's the 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 uh, population and uh, uh, sample for our study and then uh, the last uh, uh, no no I mean sorry um, unit analysis sorry okay uh, unit of analysis so uh, the unit of analysis is the entity that um, frames what is being analyzed in a study or is the entity being studied as a whole uh, within uh, which most factors uh, factors of um, causality and change exist the unit of analysis uh, should uh, should not uh, be confused with the unit of observation um, the unit um, of observation is a subset of the unit of analysis so that's um, for unit analysis and in, in our study the unit of analysis is uh, the interest of the research will be uh, will be on organizational performance the unit of analysis will be the organization which is hospital industry in Malaysia in Malaysia Malaysia yeah and um, yeah that's for unit of analysis and then the last one for our for my presentation uh, which is uh, valid validity and reliability so under validity and reliability uh, the concepts used to evaluate the quality of research they indicate how well a method technique or test measure measures uh, something uh, reliability reliability is about the consistency of a measure and um, validity itself is about uh, the accuracy of a uh, measure so um, in our study or our topic uh, the validity validity and reliability uh, okay first for validity um, there is a construct validity which is to evaluate uh, measurements tools uh, represent the things we are interested interested in measuring and then um, also face vali validity to analyze how a uh, suitable content of test to be on the surface so that's for validity and for reliability 
that is, consists of test retest reliability and also iterator reliability for test retest reliability um, it's a um, uh, correlations uh, against based on um, results from the same sample survey was conducted and uh, while for interrater reliability is correlations uh, against based on the same result the result of survey so that's um uh, for validity and reliability of our study so I think um, that's all from uh, my presentation I am mm, sorry for any you know like uh, kukarangan or you know like uh, what I I should not to to do during uh, presentation um so yeah that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum